Dave Wittenborn shared a simple solar heater. His designs can be made of recycled and found materials and can produce free heat on sunny days. Solar heaters emerged out of a problem with passive solar houses. A house is essentially an insulated box. Windows in our houses allow sun energy to enter and by putting a thermal mass in the sunlight you can store that energy to keep your house warm when the sun isn't out. The problem with windows is that they also let heat out and when the clouds roll in the loss of heat through windows continues. This creates a conundrum for passive solar gain in our overcast climate. A solar heater solves this problem by separating the window from the house, only connecting it through vents. In this way, you can increase your windows without increasing your heat loss. When the sun shines, the solar heater gets hot and the air inside rises. As heat flows out of the top of the solar heater, cold air is sucked in from the bottom. The size of the holes controls how quickly air will move through the system. Dave's solar heater is made of scrap rigid foam, salvaged from a construction site, an old window, some adhesive caulk, and old aluminum cans painted black. The cans have holes ripped in the bottom and are stacked bottom to top. Aluminum is a great conductor and heats up quickly. As air rises, it follows a turbulent path through the cans, picking up heat as it goes. Holes drilled in the foam box control the rate the air enters and leaves the heater. A small roll of aluminum screening creates a gap at the top and bottom, allowing air to distribute through the matrix of hot aluminum cans. In this version, the glass is provided by an old tempered glass door off an old stereo cabinet left on the side of the road. The finished unit is light, very inexpensive, and efficiently turns sunlight into heat for a house, a shop, or even a food dehydrator, while reducing heat loss when the sun isn't shining.